Hmm. We bought something that I think is delicious. I don't, know, but I don't think you do. Is this clean? Yep. From the land of the beginning, got some Trader Vic's macadamia nut, which I just love this bottle. It smells so good. If you like macadamia nut, you like this. Apparently, Alistair does not like macadamia nut in a liquid form. That's not what I said. No, you said that it tasted like cheap coffee. Cheap coffee trying to be expensive coffee. Yes. <laughs> I took that as a dislike. It was not my apologies. Um, not a lot of drinks call for macadamia nut in any form. Um, so we're making this up. I'm gonna shake it because I can. Oh, it just smells so good. I think I think it and rum and especially maybe even uh, the black strap or just normal rum and demerara might go might go fantastic together. Well I was gonna say if you go into the the Susan cabinet, mm -hmm. we have some coconut in there. It's in a can, so you'll need to shake and open it. Um, do lemon, not lime. many rums, no, which I mean five, Let's see, you don't like coconut, you're a cat, coconut milk, The unending fun of coconut milk. Deep, deep down inside there is liquid. But getting there is a process. I'm gonna guesstimate about an ounce. Probably something like that. and see how she do. This is gonna look gross. So I'm going to use walking off camera, walking off camera. Go cup. I'm going to open pour this because I have space. It's a lot pinker than I expected.
I don't know if I lost the macadamia nut. Also, I got it on my glasses. It definitely comes in as mm. kind of like a smell sensation more than a taste. Yeah. Which is not bad. It. I don't, I don't personally like it. It's not the drink for me. But I really respect the, like, that it's a well-made drink. It's perfectly balanced. Yeah, it's, it's really fatty and sugary. Uh, and I do get the macadamia. You're, you might be right that you smell it but don't taste it. So I think I think the mouth feel is just all the fats and sugars. Like I said, though, like it's not the drink for me. I wouldn't actually want to drink one of those. But it is uh, exceptionally palatable. Because we have nothing to lose. Give it a little bit of that effervescence. Just instantly foaming the coconut. There's your, your made-up euphemism for the day. Foamily coconut. Definitely brought it out and made the coconut, not the coconut, macadamia nut more noticeable, but destroyed the mouthfeel. Now it's weird. Yeah, now it is kind of weird. It's not. It's not instantly pleasing because you're not getting the the fats and the sugars instantly hitting your tongue. Definitely wasn't all right drink though. Was that a named drink? Or? No, it's through stuff with it. Sure. Yeah. You should write down what you did before the uh, before the soda stream in the in the gray book. Mm. And someday we'll publish the gray book. I'll have all our drink recipes in it. Well, it was about one and a half ounces of the macadamia nut, half an ounce of the black strap. Half an ounce lemon juice, roughly in it. You know what actually might be good? I, I was gonna, I was gonna do this partially as a joke, but you should take some of the Son of the Devil and put a splash in there. It's below the bar right now. It's on the bottom shelf. Oh, that's the okay. Yeah. Because I actually wager, like coffee would work in this as a beverage. Like coffee and macadamia nut, like it's just it's a it's they're linked in it's my mind. Things, so yeah. I was actually curious about ginger with it. Uh, that's much more interesting. Sorry, not ginger, uh, garlic. That's even fucking weirder. If you've ever had garlic macadamia nuts, they are amazing. They're so good. Um, first off, name for this bad boy. Yeah, it's your drink. I mean. I'm getting, I'm getting coconut, I'm getting obviously macadamia, I'm getting the fat of it all. You could call it a macadamia fats. Or something good. <laughs> um, cocadamia? No. Milky Tad. Ugh. <laughs> Did you put in a splash of uh, Son of the Devil? Mm. I'm very curious how that would be. I think when I, when I do my macadamia drink, I might build it around coffee. <laughs> well, because the other thing that we have is the... I'll get that. Stop hammering it up. I'm... Reverse hammer. Is it hamming if I'm genuine in my clumsiness? Okay, there's got to be just the teensiest. That might be too much. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah. No, I mean just pouring it into the layer, the layer of, of the coconut foam. foam just made a tiny hole. 
It didn't actually like disperse. Oh man, you could actually make the most amazing thing in this glass. If you got, if you filled it with liquid and then there was foam on top, it would look like the top <gasps> of the skull, and then you could pour something red on top of it. You mean if you just did crushed ice and then did some grenadine? Yeah, not even crushed ice, because like that, that amount of foam in there is... Foamy. It's very foamy, and if you, you, you could get it at least up to the top and then put something red on there to kind of simulate blood and brains and stuff. Coffee, as said. Delicious. Yeah, it works perfectly. <laughs> Taylor, you scooch out of the way. Keep working on your name. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start riffing on what I want to do with this drink. Um, do you need the shaker or anything? Yeah, I already cleaned it. Oh, okay. Then everyone's just gonna stare at me while I write out what I did for a minute. You used up all that ice, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> 